Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to look at a few different commodities today. Uh, we're going to look outside of the majors that we typically look at, uh, look at like gold, silver, oil, copper, uh, look at some of the more rare commodities, just with it in mind that the US dollar has really been dominating commodities and we want to look outside of the typical space. So the plan here is not really to go into massive depth into each commodity, but more also to raise the idea that it's very important to look at some of the longer term charts and see what the possibilities are out there. Uh, and then that in itself can be a catalyst to look further into a market. So what I want to do is just look at some of the um, longer term charts, mostly weekly charts of some different commodities, and just demonstrate how important some of these longer term support and resistances can be and, and in determining the shorter term trading action. So the first chart that we have here is, is Cocoa. You can see that it's run into this 3,000 level as the resistance, and we're seeing the, the prices come off from that. Um, and now we can look at wheat. There's this 490 support. This is actually a daily chart for wheat. But you can see it's not been down here for a good amount of time, uh, and then we're starting to get some reaction. Uh, next is oats. You can see we've got this 260 support. Now, these are all just, the common across all these charts is they're all just levels that have not been tested for a long period of time. And because of this bout of dollar strength, we are seeing a number of multi-year supports hitting in multiple uh, commodities. And so it's just worth having a look to see whether these commodities can outperform in the context of this dollar strength. The next one we're looking at is lumber. You can see there's this 280 support on the weekly chart. Then we have orange juice. That's hit the support of, of 110 on this weekly chart. Again, uh, not having come close for a good amount of time offers the opportunity of a bit more upside when it hits these kind of longer term levels. Um, palladium, slightly different in that this has actually been one of the outperforming asset classes, um, outperforming the likes of gold and silver and other metals which have been pummeled pretty hard. Um, palladium has been doing well, but it has run into this 820 resistance level and you can see that prices have already started to come off a bit from there. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We looked at a host of commodities outside of the regular commodities, heavily influenced by the US dollar. And we're looking for some opportunities that could develop into, into good sized trends, trend reversals at multi-year resistance levels and support levels, which can often influence trading much more, much more regularity, uh, with much more regularity than uh, happens on the shorter term charts.